Before we dive into the course, let's take a moment to install the necessary requirements for this course. Arduino GS5 requires Node.js version 12 and above and NPM version 6 and above. So we need to make sure we have these versions installed. We can check the version of Node.js we have installed by running Node.js-V. As you can see, I have version 12.14.1. Anything from 12 upwards is fine. Then we can check the version of NPM we have installed by running npm-v. If you don't have the correct versions installed or you don't have Node.js installed at all, you can head over to the Node.js website and download Node.js for your operating system. Though Node.js supports multiple databases such as MySQL, SQLite, Postgres and few others. But for this course, we will be making use of MySQL. So we need to make sure we have it installed as well. If you are on a Mac, you can install MySQL using Homebrew. That is, brew install MySQL. I already have it installed, so I won't run this. If you are not on a Mac, you can do a quick search on how to install MySQL for your operating system. Also, to interact with MySQL, we will be making use of a database management tool called Table Plus which is available for major operating systems. So download the one for your operating system. This is not a requirement as you can make use of any database client you are comfortable with. I just prefer using this. Lastly, for writing our code, I will be making use of Visual Studio Code. Again, this is not required as you can use whatever code editor or ID you are comfortable with. With the necessary requirements in place, let's move on to create our first Arduino's.js application.